Hi there. Now for this example then, you're asked to find dy dx for y equals 3 times the inverse tan or arc tan of all of x squared over 5. So if you'd like to have a go at this, just give you a moment to pause the video. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Now, I'll run slowly through the answer, or you might just want to fast forward if you want to check your working against mine. So to do this, what I would do is the chain rule. I would let, let's say, t equal x squared over 5. So that means that we would have y just equaling 3 times the inverse tan or arc tan of t. So when it comes to working out what dy by dx is going to be, using the chain rule then it will be dy by dt times dt by dx. So we need to find out what dy by dt would be and I'm assuming that you watched the earlier videos where I showed you how to differentiate the inverse tan of x. And if you watch that, you would have seen that it was 1 all divided by 1 plus x squared. So for this example, it's going to be 3 multiplied with 1 all over 1 plus t squared. So it's just a question then of substituting for the t as x squared over 5. So if you're doing this, it's going to be 3 then times the differential of the inverse tan of t, which will be then all of, and I'll put this in the square brackets here, okay, 1 all over 1 plus t squared, 1 plus what we call t, which would be x squared over 5, and all of that is squared, okay? And then just close off that bracket there. And we then need to multiply by dt by dx. And dt by dx, I'll just put it down here, dt by dx will be equal to 2x over 5. So that goes in here then as 2x over 5. So it's just a question now of just tidying this up. And we've got 3 then times the 2x, that's going to be 6x. And then it's all divided by, and if I multiply the 5 with the 1 here, that's going to be 5. And we've got, for this one here, we've got x to the power 4 over 25. And if I multiply by that 5 there, the 5 will cancel into the 25 and just give me then x to the power 4 over 5. And then I just need to times top and bottom of the fraction by 5, and that will give me 30x on the top. And then it will be all divided by 5 times 5, which is 25, and then 5 times x to the power 4 over 5. That's just going to be x to the power 4. And there you go. Okay, so I hope you're able to get that right. If not, at least you can see your way through it.